three more sleeps until hashtag Oz votes. Thank you. Jesus, that's what I have to say. Joining us this evening is Lisa Goddard up in Brisbane from Adoni Media and the Herald Sun's rising star, Kayla Bond. Gang, let's jump straight into the national broadsheet tomorrow with the splash on the Australian reading, race edging to photo finish. Anthony Albanese will lead a two-day, five-state blitz of 20 marginal seats as Labor attempts to hold off a late swing to the government, which coalition campaigners believe has tightened the election race in key battlegrounds. With confidence increasing in coalition ranks that Scott Morrison is making inroads in outer suburban seats. The opposition leader on Wednesday night flew into Western Sydney to the safe Labor seat of Fowler to defend its star candidate, Christina Keneally, who is facing a strong challenge from independent day Lee. Lise, uh, uh, we always knew this and I can't believe that we are uh, still being shocked the fact that we know how much of a political animal and a campaign mongrel Scott Morrison is. Are we that surprised that uh, Labor is a little bit spooked that the Prime Minister is absolutely sprinting home in the final quarter? No, I don't think Labor would be surprised at all, and I think this is what they feared the most. Look, they have to walk a very fine... The tightrope there for them is, is keeping Albanese mm. in a place where he's not going to make any more stuff-ups between now <laughs> and Saturday, and then trying to keep up with what Scott, mm. the, the pace that Scott Morrison will set between now and Saturday. And that is going to be what will have all of the media on the edge of their seat between now and the countdown until we hit those polls opening on Saturday morning. But seriously, the photo Absolutely. finish, it is... You, <laughs> You, you could not count, you could not ask for better, really. And the fact that Scott yeah. Morrison can follow it up with, with, yeah, he's put the phone call into the mum, he's put the phone call into the kid. It's, it's no wonder it's on most of those front pages today or tonight. Yeah, indeed. Hey, Caleb, I think the interesting thing is that we've heard for the past six weeks that Albanese has been a little bit slow when it comes to campaigning. You know, most journos on the on the hustings with him are saying that they're clocking off at 12 and they don't really have anything until the next day. Is uh, this pace probably going to surprise the opposition leader and does he have the, uh, the determination in the tank to, to continue on through to the final round? Well, you'd want to hope so. I mean, he has to sort of prove over the next few days that he has the desire and the mongrel to want mm. to be Prime Minister. And that's what we haven't mm. seen from Albanese so far. I mean, the, the risk here is that in jumps racing terms, he's lining himself up for the final hurdle and that he clips it with his knees and falls <laughs> over. Uh, and, and, and he's the favourite in doing so. It, it, it happens sometimes and he could very well do it. And, and I think one of the most interesting things here is that the first seat he has gone to is found which, of course, you know, Christina mm. Keneally, who was parachuted mm. into the western suburbs of Sydney from Scotland Island, uh, from her home mm. that was only accessible by boat, to go in and represent a, a, a mostly working-class immigrant community, which, of course, Albo said, what a great success, immigrant success story uh, Christina Keneally mm. was coming over <laughs> from the United States. But, but for the first time in a very long time, the people of Western Sydney have a fight on their hands and maybe mm. they'll get some interest out of the Labor Party for once and they won't be taken advantage of. But Albo has to prove yeah. in the next three or four days that he wants this job because we haven't seen that from him yet. Yeah, you're so right. I think it's it's fantastic that the spotlight is on Western Sydney because it's about time that people started paying attention and it's that's what the beauty of our democracy is. Fingers crossed they get everything that they should desire. Let's